a carnival mood at the scene of protests outside the Sudanese military headquarters in Khartoum. They are reacting to news of progress in negotiations between the Transitional Military Council and protest leaders. Every hope is funneled into this square. It's better for us to remain here than return to anything similar to what we had in the past. We have suffered for 30 years. We need a swift and final solution. A joint transitional council, which would include military representation, is on the cards. Negotiations have not yet established the personalities who would lead the country in transition to a full democracy. But all sides are hopeful that they will eventually reach an agreement on that. There's been a discussion on the points in which there were differences of viewpoints, and I think the discussion is continuing in a positive and fruitful way, and that has encouraged us. Some of the issues they are dealing with include the period of transition, will it be two or four years, and whether the military will retain control of security and defense ministries. Many people in Sudan credit the protesters with the progress achieved so far. Their clamor for a peaceful democratic dispensation may be far from over, but they say the struggle they started here could potentially shape a new era on the African continent. Encouraged by progress so far and a string of concessions by the Transitional Military Council, the mood within the protesters is one of defiance. On Saturday, dozens of them gathered outside a building where the opposition Popular Congress Party was holding a meeting chanting, no place for Islamists. At least 64 party members were wounded in the ensuing violence, something that's been condemned by both the military and protest organizers. We've passed through a lot. For the last 30 years, every kind of crime has been committed against us. The injustices, corruption, the killings, all were done in the name of religion. That's why we want a secular government. Protesters are also quick to point out that they are against a well-entrenched deep state that wants to see a continuation of the policies of the past. But their foremost priority, they say, is the immense task of achieving a transition from 30 years of military rule. Mohammed Adou Al Jazeera, Khartoum.